what's going on everybody so uh, it's kind of been a while well not really but um, in Florida right now we're going through season uh, and my job plus my other friends jobs uh, mine in healthcare and a couple other things we are extremely busy uh, all the Yankees are down traffic's crazy business is crazy which is good you know always a double-edged sword so it's kind of been difficult for us to uh, do our group ventures as we usually do but uh, we ended up doing a couple before it got too crazy so I will start showing you guys that right away um, first of all I don't know if I showed this last time but I ended up finding a pretty cool antique store slash military in Naples if I show this already, I do apologize. I try to check my other vids, but everything's kind of going slow right now. I'll do it really quick. I ended up getting some Xbox games there, surprisingly. Really interesting uh, mix of like um, antiques and retro items. And they had this little side section, and it was just full of Xbox games. And everything was $3. Uh, everything was CIB. Uh, the first one is Ninja Gaiden. Second one is, and I've never played these, so if you guys can tell me, I haven't plugged my Xbox in for the longest time, I feel bad. I don't know why it gets so much, uh, it's not as loved as it used to be. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Black. Ninja Gaiden! Hey! Dead or Alive 3. Great game. Turok Evolution. Uh, a game I've never heard of before, uh, if anyone has any opinions please tell me because it looks interesting. Nightcaster, Defeat the Darkness. Another kind of weird game I'm kind of wondering about. Uh, Be Sokol, Siberia. And another fun, fun, fun game is uh, X-Men's Legend Rise of Apocalypse. So, uh, I guess we'll start over here, in no particular order. Uh, last week, um, there's a store in Cape Coral, and for some odd reason, our buddy Orlando, who's like now part of the group, really cool guy, uh, you gotta check out his channel. He just started not too long ago, uh, the t uh, title is Straight Geeked Out. I'll post it down here. It's uh, S T R eight uh, G E E K D out. Really cool guy. A lot of fun to hang out with. We did some hunting uh, before at uh, Ortez, but I'll show you guys that later. And he found some really crazy stuff. I'm real jealous. Um. Well, where I went before the store, I ended up going to uh, Capital Pond in Cape Coral, found Phantom 2040, Starfleet Academy, and this is really cool. Um, was this the one? No, that's not the one. This is the one. I found a... Uh, Box Isolated Warrior. Never played this game before. The box is in the best shape, but the game is uh, a lot of fun. It's a, uh, I guess you can say a shoot 'em up, but it's kind of in the same uh, aspect as Zaxxon because you kind of have different levels while you're going. I, I almost thought there was going to be an anime of it because it was that cool of a game, but uh, if you can get it, get it. If you get it cheap, even better. It's a really fun game. Uh, whatever. Miss Pac-Man. And, uh, while I'm holding this, uh, this game I've been looking for forever, and I can never really find it how I, as cheap as I want it, but I ended up getting, uh, a decent price. Oh, God, I can't even remember now. I want to say I ended up getting 12 altogether with shipping and handling. It is Times of Lore. Unfortunately, the box is totally fucked. But, um, it's alright of a game. I, I mean, the game itself looks great. I've wanted it for the longest time. Don't ask me why. I just kept sawing pictures and going, wow, that looks like a really cool game. Eh, eh, you know, whatever. You get it. It's, I don't know why it's going for what it's going for right now, but that's it. So, uh, next. 
why Orlando and I were at Ortez, um, didn't really find a lot of stuff. He is kind of just in the beginnings of his collection, so he's like, cool, 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 and I'm just like, man, where's stuff I want? But it's always kind of fun uh, to hang out with people uh, while they're doing that, and actually them finding stuff that they want for their collection. I uh, ended up getting a game that I was stupid enough. I had it CIB, I sold it to an evil place, Mario Land, Benita Springs sucks. Um, it is Shadowgate 64, I ended up getting this for $3. The next, um, I heard some good things about this, still haven't put it in. Interesting shooter, it is Time Crisis, got that for 4 and the last one, I just thought this looked neat, and I don't know how good it's going to be. Someone needs to give me some information on this. It is Martian Gothic Unification. Uh, I think that was around two or three, I think. And let's see, next. Uh, oh, yeah. While I was at um, Capital Pawn, uh, they had a copy of the game I had but it came with instructions and they were doing like a little sale that day so very cheap but I uh, ended up giving it, uh, give it to Matt but I wanted to keep the instruction booklet it is Wizard Drill um, Wizardry, excuse me uh, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord not the best condition but it's kind of cool to have that so let's see oh yeah um, one thing I did not show, and not, uh, I told him thanks, but um, the day we all went out uh, the second time, Mark brought us to his friend's house, and um, the dude had a whole bunch, like a mixed match of like Sega and PlayStation and uh, GameCube. Uh, there was only two games I wanted. Um, and one of the games uh, Mark just gave to me for free for driving. I haven't put this in yet either. It is RPG Maker. Uh, any opinions, guys, once again? And the dude had... I, I'm kind of... I'm really kind of kicking myself. I'm not really big into uh, retro toys. Uh, if I see something around, you know, just for like a space saver uh, in my collection, I'll put it up. For a while, I was like looking for Transformers, and every now and then I'll do TMNT. Uh, but ever since I saw um, the Game Chasers, when they um, when they were doing an interview or a show about Jay's uh, brother's um, collection, I was kind of like, wow, I, that's kind of cool. And, so anyways, uh, the dude had this huge box of Transformers, and I'm, so, I'm kind of kicking myself because some of the things were like missing pieces and stuff, but he had a, I mean, like a really huge box full of them, but I don't know, at the guy, I don't know, it was just a weird scenario where we kind of like went in and didn't have a lot of time to look and we left, but ended up uh, getting Rocksteady for like, two bucks and Mark got something uh, Mark got like the bundle and then he got a couple things but I kind of wish I got um, some transformers with that too because it's just cool then at uh, the Capital Pond in Bonita OK Chief did a video about how much he liked the um, Game Boy Advance SP I want to do a video here soon unless someone steals my idea um, of doing a comparison of playing Game Boy Advance games on the SP as compared to playing Game Boy on the uh, the older DS and what I ended up getting for a pretty good price um, with the charger and everything it is a I can turn it on there we go I got a nice uh, Game Boy SP uh, 25 bucks and it came with Monster Rancher and it's like really good quality too. They had one there before and they were selling it for a little bit it was like $30 and it was it wasn't taken that good care of but I was happy to get this and looking at it um, 
I'm kind of wondering too, so I really want to do like a, a compare and uh, contrast of the both consoles. So it's that, but once again, filler. Uh, Super Play Action Football for a dollar and uh, Madden 96. I know it's been kind of slim picking lately. It kind of sucks, but you know, that's how it goes. This was even better. Um, finally, uh, I lucked out and I'm really lucky to have a good friend at the Capitol Pawn in Benita because she didn't call me this time, but she's like, dude, every time you come here, you really luck out because we just put these things out. I ended up getting, once again, I used to have some of these and gave them away or did whatever. Matt was initially gonna, just gonna give me or do like a trade for this, but I ended up giving it back to him because I ended up finding a Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now these uh, used to be five, for some odd reason they're doing six now, but I ended up getting a couple extra for trades, so I kind of made up the money. Uh, Mario Tennis. Damn, fuck. Uh, this I've been looking for and I'm really happy to have it because it's in great condition. It is Gauntlet Legends. Perfect. And the last two ones, whatever. Uh, Toy Story 2. This was at the other place, so I think I got these for five. And uh, Scooby Doo Classic Creep Capers. Good idea or bad idea putting these stickers? I guess it's good. I don't know. I want to see if there's like a... I guess this is the only way to really, you know, see what you have and label them. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, now... So, lately, I've been... Uh, for the longest time, I've been watching Juario, and in my last vid, I've been trying to collect uh, Famicom and Super Famicom games that you can actually play without reading kanji, kaji. Some weird stuff, man. Some of the stuff they come out with, it just, I, I don't know. It, it, it kind of blows my mind. The first one is Contra Hard Corps with Jet Li. I forget what movie this is. Um, and I was hoping it was like some sort of modded version of like I showed last time uh, with uh, Contra 3 Alien Wars ported to the NES, but what it is, is Contra, and it has 25 modded versions of it. Uh, maybe I'll put a video up of it. Um, but what it is, it's like the first one uh, you choose is like normal Contra. Second one is you start off with uh, the spread gun. The third one is you start off with another weapon. And the rest of them are, you, you get to start at different levels with different weapons. So it's kind of a cool idea, but uh, Next one is uh, NBA Jam, which isn't NBA Jam, it's some other basketball game. I can't think of the name right now. Next. This game, I was so like, oh man, this game would have been so badass if it came out on NES. This is called, on the label, Fighting Legends. Well, it's a wrestling game, and uh, I should have wrote this down. Uh, because of the G, get, cause whatever, wrestling, blah, blah, blah. And I'm playing it and it kind of looks familiar. And uh, in, in the wrestling game, uh, you'll see it up here, I'll show some vid. It's like each player has like 20 different moves, like submission moves and uh, I think like eight different playable characters. And just, I mean, this actually, I, right when I put this in, I was like playing and playing and playing, and I'm like, okay, I gotta try these other ones. And then all of a sudden I realized it is uh, Tecmo Pro Wrestling? Is that what it is? And I couldn't believe it, because I'm like, why isn't this in, why didn't this be ported here? Next, this is 130 in one games. But guess what? It's just one, two, three, four, five, five games repeated over and over and over again. It's a gamble. Um, the games on it are uh, 1942 Field Combat. I don't know why this happens, but on every multi-card, it's a good game, but I don't know why they always freaking put Adventure Island and all of that. Uh, the next one is Brave Boy. I don't really know anything about that. I should have done my uh, 
history and uh, Galaxian. Um, I mean, if you want to play it, like, and it's not even like different versions, it's the same game over and over again. And it's kind of funny too, they have the dude uh, Final Fantasy for Brave Boy. Very misleading, suck too. I got another multi card. It is uh, it's just called Racing Series. It's got um, 10 games done like a hundred times. Nothing special on it. It's uh, Road Fighter, F1 Race in Paris, Zippy, Challenger, Pac Man card. Just crap. I don't even know why I got this thing. Uh, now, this um, is a game ever since. I saw Juario I wanted to get. It is, uh, and that's what I thought I was getting last time when I got that, whatever. And this is, uh, he did a great review on it. it you don't need to really know uh, Japanese to play it. It helped, but you really don't need to. It is called YY World. This, more or less, uh, the story in a nutshell, um, some evil dude goes into like Konami games and steals characters and like the characters are like uh, Goman. Uh, more or less what you do is like different levels. It's kind of like a Mega Man thing and you have to save these characters. Like you have to save uh, Simon Belmont, Goman, uh, some other person and you can switch between your character Konami man and Konami girl, and I guess they were the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were the, uh, what the fuck is the word? I'll put it up here. Um, for the, uh, Konami series there, and I guess he actually did have appearances in, oh yeah, Goonies, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you save them, and then you're actually able to use them and their powers in next levels and whatnot. I haven't really gotten too far in this game, but from what I played, it's a lot of fun. But it's kind of hard, too. But I need to get uh, Wild War World 2, because I think that's the review he did. And it's like better graphics, and I think probably a better game. This game seems actually pretty cool, but it keeps glitching out on me. I have no idea why. It's a racing game. Not the biggest fan. Uh, Monaco GP2, but I don't think this is actually the proper name for it. And the next is, uh, I guess this actually was licensed by Famicom. Um, nothing too special, it's kind of like your atypical multi-card. It is a 42 in 1. The game's on here, once again, uh, Othello, Ninja, uh, Arabian, Road Fighter, Dig Dug. 1948. Nothing too special. It's like kind of your atypical, but at least there's no repeats on this. Uh, next, a nice version of Tetris. Jungle Book, which shows Tarzan on there for some reason with, uh, what's his name? Mokai or whatever. I don't know what his name was. But this is kind of a fun game for the NES. And. This is insane. I ended up finding like the holy grail of pirated games. And you never thought it existed, but it does. But before I show you this, uh, the last out of the bundle, and I ended up getting all those for uh, 25 and $5 shipping and handling from uh, Canada. It is... You guys tell me if you can see. I hope everyone can see this. Uh, it's so cool how um, Famicom games, sometimes they don't even show you what the title is on these games. It just shows that uh, they have like so many different uh, label variants, it just blows my mind away. This is actually Mario 3, and I was just talking to Orlando, and I think his is. It's a different color, but like right in his one, it actually shows Mario up top. But I thought that was really badass. And then, bam, drop another game. Um, this dude found this game in an ancient Hungarian monastery. And he's a fan of the channel, and he sent it to me. And I was so blown away. It's flimsy as fuck, it's about to break. But I was just so, I just have to show it to you. 
pretty much a million games in one. Literally the whole NES library on this little faux N64 looking cartridge. I mean, it's like literally falling apart. It's been used so many times by so many people and it was so beloved. I just so, I, I was just so happy to get this because literally just with this game, I can play every game. I mean, emulator, I mean, you get every game possibly in the NES library on this, plus Famicom games. I was so happy to get this. It's, it, I was like crying when I got this. Unfortunately, I'm lying and full of shit. Uh, it's just six games repeated literally a million times and the games are duck hunt super mario jewelry clay shooting track and field and baseball done a million fucking times but it's kind of an oddity so it's kind of cool to have i guess so uh, going on oh yeah with that too I, I, i'm actually glad to get this because my um famicom converter isn't in the best shape and this one is like perfect game converter. I wish I got a honeybee. Everyone tells me how great that is, but uh, this one works just as good and I've had no trouble with this at all on my Retro Duo or my NES or anything. So 25 bucks. Can't beat that. And oh yeah, uh, my brother's friend uh, Tim, he was going through his stuff because he knows I like uh, all this retro stuff and he ended up giving me well he was trying to sell it to me at first but he ended up giving me a uh, game shark for the playstation one which i think is pretty cool unfortunately uh i don't have a playstation one i do everything with playstation 2 so i think this is kind of obsolete for me so but thanks again tim appreciate it and so um our favorite place we went to um which is level up in Port Charlotte, right? Yeah. Went there, didn't see a lot that I wanted, but I had like an extreme amount of uh, trade-in value still there. Had a lot of credit left. Uh, I went there, ended up getting Creature Shock Special Edition, pretty much brand new. Um, whenever they get stuff, it is always like mint. One thing that just blew my mind on this, and I posted pics of this on uh, Sells for the Gamers, and this would have been so cool if it actually came out on Sega Saturn. They had an advertisement for uh, Dark Sun Shattered Lands, great PC game, and that would have been so badass. I mean, why would they put this on the game if it wasn't going to come out? Coming soon for the Sega Saturn game console. Oh well. But uh, once again, another game I have not played yet. My library is going to games that I just haven't played. Uh, and the owner was funny. He was like, oh, why did they do a special edition? And there never was one, uh, first one. But there actually was, but I guess it was Japanese only. Uh, opinions, good, bad, ugly. And the next, uh, Mark was telling me he was raving about this game. And, um, oh, that one. Shit. I think I got that one for 10 uh, it, this one is Croc, The Legend of Gobos. Once again, great condition, even has this little styrofoam protector right there. Uh, ended up getting this for 12. Now, uh, is there anything else? Oh yeah, whatever. I ended up getting, uh, a GBA little multi-card game. It's a uh, Konami Arcade Advance. One thing, one game on here, it's like the first fighting game I ever really, really loved. It was called Ayer Kung Fu. And uh, this is the arcade version, not the shitty NES version of it. Amazing, a uh, really cool thing to have. Uh, ended up getting this for $4. Now, after all that, uh, the best thing I got, um, a friend of mine who lives in Russia, close to Chernobyl, um, him and his buddies decided to go into the actual Chernobyl city area, which we all know is like kind of off limits and radioactive. Well, why he was in there? And it just, I don't know if he was joking or not, but 
it came in the mail like this. Um, you're gonna see what it is before I show you the warning labels that it was sent in. Radioactive, dangerous. Once again, I don't have a Geiger counter to prove this, but uh, ended up getting a system I've been looking for for a while. And it is one controller, everything's together. I finally got myself a Turbo Graphics, and I was so extremely happy to get it. Um, he found it like next to a couple like dead mutated bodies. With it came Pac-Land and Bonk's Adventure. Bonk's Adventure kind of has sad memories for me and probably Matt. We had a chance to get um, two copies of Bonk's Adventure. My dumbass just remember the Sega version and it wasn't worth any money and we put them back. Make a long story short, I want to shoot myself now because they're gone. And we probably could have got them for like $5 a piece. But anyway, so yeah, uh, I want to thank Glassdoff for this. This is beyond badass. And uh, also, I had one reason I always wanted to get Turbo Graphics. Again, I am a big SSI nut, and one reason I got the wanted to get the Turbo Graphics, just because I thought it was kind of an interesting console. It I ended up getting uh, found that oh, I looked everywhere for a cheap version uh, of this pretty decent deal, surprisingly on Amazon. I ended up getting uh, Dungeon Dragons: Order of the Griffin. Not too bad of a game. Unfortunately, the passwords, Jesus, effing Christ. You think NES passwords were bad? I mean, I'm kind of happy, I'm very happy to have this, but everything is so expensive for it. And like, you gotta get an add-on for freaking everything. You gotta get a Turbo Booster Plus to, so you don't have to put in the passwords. You gotta get this, you gotta get this, that. You gotta get a C, you know, the CD add-on. And some of the CD games are actually cheaper than the freaking Hue card games. I saw uh, Ease CIB at Play and Trade and it was going for like 10 bucks. But I, I, anybody who knows about this knows how much those CD add-ons get. So I would love to get a CD add-on, but I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. So beyond amazing. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just so happy to get this and everything. But uh, yeah, um, if you don't know about this system and you wanna get it, do your research. I really didn't. I knew it was a rare kind of expensive console, but man, it's expensive. And I mean, the games, once again, I only have these three games and this I like, the rest of them are like, eh. Some people say Bonks is really good. I gotta give it another try, but I don't know. I don't know. Very, very expensive. Uh, so yeah, but besides all that bullshit. So uh, I guess that's it. And um, I don't know when the next uh, pickup's gonna be. It's just extremely busy right now. I don't know how it is everywhere else. Um, I was talking to a couple people in New York and everything and uh, I think it slows down for them what's busy for us and then until April it's just gonna be fucking crazy but you guys gotta check out South Florida Gamers we're trying to we're getting like so many more people involved which is really really cool um, we're hoping to just get like this super huge community and hopefully besides our student podcast now we want to evolve I want to do something more because these pickups are I like them, but it's like, hey, look what I got, yay. You know, I wanted something different. And uh, I think us, as a rich community, we need to either evolve or die. And uh, I don't know what else to say about that. I'm just, uh, well, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, oh yeah, anyone know where King Crazy went? He just fell off the map. Um, retrospective perspective. Please make some more videos and um, Phoenix Nine. Uh, how do you say it in Dutch? 
Vez and you know, I don't know. So anyways, you need to make some new uh, videos as well. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other channels and I will hopefully see you within the next month. Uh, yeah. Later. Oh my gosh, yeah. And uh, one last thing, I really have to thank um, Matt's old lady. She went to Columbia. I told her to get her games. Like you know the old saying, um, she'll get mad if I say that. But she actually got me a cool t-shirt. Um, she went there and uh, uh, in the healthcare area we work with, um, she asked for our scrub so she can uh, get our names and everything stents or uh, sewed on there. One thing she I forgot to give her mine, and uh, but she ended up giving uh, me this really cool T-shirt, and it has the uh, the Southwest Florida Gamers uh, logo on there with my name, which I thought was pretty badass. So thank you very much, Louisa, and. Uh, it's really cool. So it's, there you go, guys. It's always good to have friends. Always make friends with your friends, old lady. Very important. Late.